So this puzzle is called the key box. And if I'm understanding this notation correctly, it's easy peasy, uh, as opposed to whatever that says. Um, it's a sequential discovery puzzle box uh, that requires the use of tools I'll find along the way. So that sounds pretty standard. And this is the blue one. Okay, so blue indicates the perfect introduction to the key box world. Could take anywhere from 10 to 45 minutes. And it's designed and 3D printed in Bern in Switzerland. Wow, very cool. Okay, so if this is any good, then maybe I'll try the uh, tricky one next. Let's see. Key box, before you start, the goal is to find the hidden token. No external tools are allowed, no hitting, banging, or any other kind of strong force is needed. Okay, there's a sticker, always keep playing. Here we are, here's the puzzle. Rather nice looking. A few obvious sort of buttons or something, knobs. And then a front that's kind of wobbling about that says key box on it. Okay, let's see what is involved here. So first of all, yeah, we have this panel on the front that seems to want to come off, but not quite. We have a blue knob. We have a big white knob, another blue knob which feels like it's sprung, maybe? Mm, not quite sure. It's definitely different, very different from this one. This one feels like it can rotate slightly, but not by much. And it's hitting up against something, which I think is this. There's also this hole here, I've just noticed. And then we have another blue knob. So, one, oh yeah, this is definitely sprung. Having sprung it, oh, this unscrews. Is that what I meant to do? Was that possible? No, that was always possible. Does this one unscrew? No. And does this one unscrew? No. Okay, so what happens when I push this in all the way? Uh, doesn't seem to affect this, I think. says something else on the inside of it. So it's key box there, but it says something, I think, different inside. There's also something rattling around, which might just be the prize. Wait, does this unscrew now? Okay. There's a thing that I just kind of have to try. really troubling me how strange this piece feels. It kind of wants to wibble about, but it also feels like it's going to come out somewhere. So I guess it's rotating about a point somewhere up here, is it? But it's also able to move left and right, not so much up and down. This piece here, I'm assuming this is intentional. You can just pull it out ever so slightly. Ooh, that's interesting. Because when I pull it out, I feel it on this. So I'm guessing, yeah. Okay, so by pushing this in, that enabled this to come out, not all the way, but further than it used to. And now it's really like stuck. Yeah, you can push it in and out while that button's pressed. Okay. And what does that do? Oh yeah, this is interesting. I feel like this is going to unscrew, but maybe I'm wrong. Ooh, 
<laughs> I wasn't pulling hard enough on that. Okay, so that comes out. Is that going to release this? No. Oh, this is this moves further than it used to now, right? This is new. I am pretty sure. But also, what about this hole here? Hmm. Oh yeah, this comes out a little further than it used to, I think. You see that? Yeah. And this moves somewhere it didn't used to go. Push that one in. Pull that one out. What if I put this in upside down? No, I can't, can I? Okay, interesting. So if you look down in here, you can see the shape, this sort of spiky piece here, which goes into the notch down the side there. But there's also, can you see it down in there? There's a little tiny spiky bit or a, a, a thing that pokes out as well. So oh, interesting. Yeah, now I can't push this in because it's blocked by that little spiky bit. So that is interesting go in that way. Ah, but if I put it in a certain way I can turn it, can I? No. Nope. It's very high quality for a 3D printed puzzle, this. Looking at that face, I really wouldn't guess that it was 3D printed. It's so smooth. to that 10 minute mark. <laughs> That's embarrassing, isn't it? Well, it's a 10 to something, 10 to 30 minutes. So. I wonder if there's a path I have to make this thing follow. Could that be it? Oh yeah, ah, there we go. Oh wow. Okay. So that is a piece of progress. This new bit here. Uh, the question is, what is the next move? So I think what's going on is we've got two um, pieces that stick out of this plate and they are working their way through a maze or two mazes independently of each, well, not independently because they're connected to this, but separately from each other. Uh, and so I'm guessing we have to solve that maze for both of them. Oh, that's new, isn't it, I think? Oh, there we go, that's good. Ah! It's come off, okay. And what now? Oh, look, I think if I screw this on there, I'm going to be able to remove it. Is that the idea? Yep, there we go. That's come out. Is that going to free this? No. What's next then? Oh, put it in that. Maybe, but maybe not. I don't know whether this matters anymore or not. And there's also a little thing in there. Oh, so you can see the mazes, these two mazes were very, very simple actually. Uh, but just, no, this is pretty tight. So I'm guessing that's the goal now, I think. Oh, what does this say? Always keep playing. 
<laughs> you see that? Oh, I just keep playing. There you go. Um, Oh, that comes out a bit further now than it used to, I think. Is that right? Oh, maybe not. Oh, this goes in now. That's interesting. This wouldn't go in earlier. I don't know if it matters very much or not, but oh, I see. It's this. Look, you can see the other end. This thing here was blocking the path. You can see it in there over on that left-hand side. It comes out here now that we've freed this. So that maybe implies that this does need to go back in then. Now that forces this to stay out. I don't know if that helps me. Oh, is this going to come out now, maybe? No external tools, but I think this counts as an internal tool. <laughs> no, not quite ready to come out yet, is it? It's going to be some other step. I wonder if it involves this. anything useful yet has it no it has to do something unless it's just a red herring I've pushed on this a few times now oh did this just move wait a minute oh yeah these are connected see when I push down on this here this little door pops up just a little tiny bit. Not enough to come out though. It's little... Oh! Well then this came out. What freed this then? <laughs> oh, I must have been pushing down on that. Is that right? Oh, do you know what? There is a spinny thing in here. I think, because I can see two little lugs in there opposite each other that I think we're holding this in place. Okay, interesting. Oh, so now this can come out without pushing on the button. Uh, what about this? Ah, yes, there we go. This now opens up. Look at that, isn't that a lovely mechanism? A little draw, curvy draw there. And there it is. There's the K for key. That took me 16 minutes and 49 seconds, a bit longer than maybe it should have done. That is absolutely a lovely puzzle. There's a step I'm not too sure about. I feel like spinning was the intended way of getting this out, but I don't think I spun it. <laughs> so I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, you can see it in here, yeah. See, I can probably recreate that then, can't I? There we go. Okay, so right now that's held in place. I think if I spin this... No. I'm sending things flying left, right and centre, but... I would like to understand what enables this to come out. There we go. Oh, it's just gravity, I see. Okay, right, I don't know if you can see this. Let's have a look. Uh, there we go. So if we have this upright, this way up, then these two little bolts 
uh, in there. I don't know if you can see them, not very clear, but anyway, they come out and hold in here and here. And when you turn this upside down, they drop back into the uh, body of the puzzle. So that was the idea of that. So that's the Keybox Blue Easy Peasy Puzzle. I'm definitely going to get the uh, the other Keybox puzzles because that was that was great. That's a really nice puzzle. I like that a lot. Really good quality 3D printed plastic pieces and a nice solve. Not too easy and not crazy difficult. But we'll see what the others are like. So there we go. If you've enjoyed watching that, uh, why not check this out? And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.